Bitcoin drifts near $26,000 amid macro uncertainties. Gate Group brings virtual asset trading platform to HK. ZA Bank Mall Digital Asset Retail Trading in Hong Kong. Fahrenheit wins bid to acquire assets of defunct crypto lender Celsius. German banks slowly adopt crypto, mostly for institutional investors. Hello and welcome to Tdodo TV. I am Vishakha Thakur. Virtual digital assets or VDAs continue to drift lower as the US debt ceiling talks failed to make headway. Markets have been roiled by an ongoing debt ceiling stalemate and inflationary and crypto regulatory concerns. Bitcoin hovered around the $26,000 mark while Ethereum dropped below $1,800 levels. Manoj Thara joins us to tell us how the global cryptocurrency market is performing today. IC15 index of cryptocurrency was trading down by 1% at 36,900 points. So, in yet another development, BASE, the Coinbase Layer 2 network, is progressing along its roadmap in preparation for the launch to the mainnet. BASE is an Ethereum Layer 2 network built on the optimism with the aim to provide a secure and low-cost way for developers to build decentralized applications on-chain. So, in some, yet another positive development for the institutional investors in Germany, their long wait is finally coming to an end. The Deutsche Service Bank has, has actually looked into an important step and has actually taken an important step in March 2023 with the launch of its WP Next crypto trading platform. The move allows 1,200 banks and saving banks in Germany to access the digital asset industry. In yet another positive development, crypto consortium has, has actually won a bid to acquire insolvent lender Celsius Network, who is, whose assets were previously valued at around $2 billion. According to the reports, uh, Firenet uh, must pay a deposit of $10 million within three days to cement the deal his court filing has actually revealed. According to our data from DeFi Lama, BNB Smart Chain overtook Ethereum as a leading blockchain in the decentralized exchanges whose volumes after the latter market crumbled more than 50% to 22.3% analysts have actually highlighted. The global cryptocurrency market cap was at around $1.1 trillion mark, dropping more than a percent in the last 24 hours. However, the total trading volume increased by around 21% was at around $35 billion. So despite the capital acquisition norms and debt management challenges, high interest rates are causing a big concerns for the bank. Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell seems committed to reduce inflation through further rates hike. That's what the markets analysts have believed. Meanwhile, after Powell's Federal Open Markets Committee FOMC speech on May 4th, the markets seem to be confident uh, and they believe that the Fed would pause rate hikes going forward. If we talk about the futures tied to the S&P 500 and Nasdaq 100 jumped as investors cheered the last quarter results uh, from the upcoming from. From the ongoing earnings season, S&P 500 futures were up by 0.6%, while Nasdaq 100 futures uh, were trading 1.8% higher. Dow Jones futures were, however, trading lower by 63 points or 0.2%. Bitcoin was seen trading at around $26,250, down by 1.8%. If you talk about Bitcoin, the largest cryptocurrency by market cap, institutional investments in Bitcoin witnessed a huge outflow worth over $30 million for, for the fifth week. For the week ended May 19th, nearly $33 million worth of the Bitcoin outflows were registered, bringing the year-to-date outflow to $112 million. If we talk about Ethereum, the second largest crypto was down by 1.6%, trading below the crucial $1,800 mark at $1,786. If you talk about the other altcoins on my left, it was Binance BNB was trading lower by 1% at $305. Solana Sol was next on the list, trading down by 0.5% at $19.3. Cardano's ADA token was down by 2.2% to trade at $0.35. Avalanche AVEX was trading at $14.2, lower by 1.5%. Doge, the popular meme coin as we all say, was trading down by 1% at 0 0700 
dollar. Shiba Inu was trading down by 1.8%. Next on the list was Ripple's XRP token was trading at $0.44, down by 1.1%. Polkadot was, however, trading at $5.3, down by 0.5%. Polygon Matic was trading higher in this market by 1.3% at $0.87. Thank you, Manoj, for your in-depth analysis of the global cryptocurrency market. And now back to the headlines. Virtual asset services provider Gate Group, the company behind the crypto exchange Gate.io, has introduced its latest virtual asset trading platform in Hong Kong. The Gate.hk platform commenced registration and trading services on May 23, following the Hong Kong Securities and Futures Commission announced its intention to permit licensed platforms to cater to retail investors. Users can now make virtual asset deposits and withdrawals as well as engage in spot trading of various cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin, Ethereum and Litecoin. Gay.hk seeks to offer a diverse range of trading services that cater to retail users and professional investors. In February, Gay.io announced plans to establish a presence in Hong Kong after the local government allocated 50 million Hong Kong dollars to support Web3 initiatives as part of the city's 2023-24 budget. In the announcement, the SFC also expressed its intent to enforce several strong measures to safeguard retail investors. Hong Kong-based ZA Bank plans to offer retail virtual asset trading in the administrative region a day after the Hong Kong Securities and Futures Commission said it would start accepting retail virtual asset trading platform license applications. The bank will partner with locally licensed virtual asset exchanges to obtain regulatory approvals according to a statement. Bank customers will be able to trade virtual assets by using fiat currency within the ZA Bank app once those approvals are in place. Virtual asset trading is part of bank's largest strategy, which will also include trading in United States stocks in the future, the bank said. The SFC announced the opening of application process along with implementation of new guidelines for asset custody safety requirements, cybersecurity standards and the segregation of client assets, among other things. Those guidelines will go into effect in June and most virtual asset trading platforms accessible to the public in Hong Kong are not now regulated by the SFC. ZA Bank was reported in April to be preparing to act as a settlement between for banks for withdrawals of tokens from licensed exchanges in Hong Kong dollars, Chinese yuan and US dollars. Cryptocurrency consortium led by Fahrenheit has emerged as a successful bidder to acquire insolvent crypto lenders Celsius Network including assets previously valued at approximately $2 billion. The court filing submitted in the early hours of May 25 showed that the consortium will obtain Celsius Network's institutional loan portfolio, staked cryptocurrencies, mining unit and other alternative investments. The group must make a $10 million deposit within three days to finalize the agreement. After a lengthy auction process, Fahrenheit, a consortium of buyers comprising venture capital firm Arrington Capital and minor US Bitcoin Corp, was chosen as a successful bidder. The Blockchain Recovery Investment Consortium, including Vanek Absolute Return Advisors Corp and GHD Labs, secured the backup position. Rival bidder Nova Wolf, which was initially favoured, ultimately lost out. As per the agreement, the new company will receive a substantial amount of liquid cryptocurrency estimated to be between $450 million and $500 million. US Bitcoin Corp will also construct crypto mining facilities, including a state-of-the-art 100-megawatt plant. While Celsius and its creditors have accepted the bid, regulatory approval is still required to complete the acquisition. Institutional investors in Germany is finally coming to an end as the Deutsche Wertpapier Service Bank took an important step in March 2023 with the launch of its WPNEX crypto trading platform. The move allows 1,200 banks and saving banks in Germany access the digital asset industry. Earlier, German banks largely neglected the cryptocurrency industry, considering it too speculative, too risky, and too unregulated. Trading cryptocurrencies directly at a German bank branch was not possible then. Not even the big online banks like Comdirect, Deutsche Credit Bank or ING allow their customers to trade cryptocurrencies directly via a broker. The only way for customers of these banks to invest in Bitcoin and other coins is through certificates replicating the cryptocurrencies. However, the German banks 
The reluctance to embrace crypto is slowly ending. Asset Management Group DWS, which is majority owned by Deutsche Bank, is looking for a way into the crypto business by giving investors access to digital assets. Other traditional banks, including Commerce Bank and Deka Bank, are seeking crypto custody licenses from Germany's financial watchdog, the Federal Financial Supervisory Authority. And now let's go to Shikha Singh to get an update on the buzzing stocks of the day. Hello and welcome to 3 Dotto TV. I am your host Shikha Singh. Let's have a look at the buzzing stocks of the day. Upbit, a significant South Korean cryptocurrency trading platform, has begun delivering Xcode tokens to XRP and Solo holders who kept their holdings at the time of the airdrop's snapshot and promises to facilitate withdrawals soon. Upbit explained in a newly released notice that the airdrop distribution has begun and is anticipated to be finished in the next 48 hours, with a total of 50 million tokens to be given equally among Solo and XRP holders. The airdrop snapshot was taken on March 24th at 13 Korean Standard Time. According to the project, a total of 100 million X-Core tokens are being distributed to current token holders, while a total of 50 million X-Core tokens are being distributed to wallets that hold Solo or XRP at the time of the snapshot. XRP was trading at $0.4, down 1.36% in the last 24 hours with a market capitalization of $23 billion. Tenet, a layer 1 liquid staking blockchain built on the Cosmos network, will collaborate with Coinflux and Quantum, two blockchains with significant user bases in China, to further establish the liquid staking market there. Users of Coinflux and Quantum will each stake at at least $1 million worth of their native tokens to support the security of their respective blockchains and obtain liquid staking derivatives from Web3 infrastructure company Anchor. Then, according to Tenet CEO Greg Gopman, Conflux and Quantum stakeholder will bring their LSDs to Tenet's liquid uh, Tenet's network and restake them to obtain enhanced yield and usefulness. The partnerships are meant to integrate Tenet into the Asian blockchain community that is often siloed from Western crypto projects, read by the announcement. Conflux was trading at $0.3, down 1.89% in the last 24 hours with a market capitalization of $8 million. In a short amount of time, the Sheep Army was able to burn another astounding number of this meme coin. According to information provided by the Sheep Burn Tracker, in recent tweet, the quantity of dog-themed coins removed from circulation in previous 24 hours is about equal to the amount burnt over the previous 7 days. Shiba Inu's price has been making an effort to rebound and has increased at about 4.17% during the last day. Within a day, 1.2 billion Shiba Inus were consumed. According to the aforementioned source, 1 billion coins worth of Shiba Inu have been burned over the course of the last 24 hours. The burn rate has soared by a staggering 2,372%. Nearly all of these sheep were destroyed in just a single transfer of 1 billion coins, which was made by an anonymous wallet around 15 hours ago. Two more transactions followed a few hours later, each carrying 1 million Shiba Inu. Shiba Inu was trading down 1.81% in the last 24 hours with a market capitalization of $5 billion. Well, that's all in today's special bulletin. This is me, Vishak Hathakur, signing off. For more on such updates and market news, please log on to our website, www.3worstv.io, or scan the QR code.